Hi, it's Trey again, and I'm here with Jim Iyer, longtime uh, Ashford Park resident. Yes. Uh, activist, perhaps, <laughs> uh, involved in a lot of the uh, social and political issues that are uh, affecting Brookhaven at times such as this. So, Jim, thanks for being here. Well, I know that you are um, you're the vice president of the Ashford Park Civic Association. I know the president is none other than Ronnie Mayer. And Ronnie Mayer, I mean to say, he is one of my favorite people. That guy has a servant heart. I mean, he gets it done for the neighborhood. I mean, he, he's out there on a regular basis. He's either planting trees or, or, you know, he's up last weekend was up printing uh, crepe myrtles at the yeah. park. I mean, the, the park technically is supposed to be maintained by DeKalb County, yeah. but he doesn't like the way they prune crepe myrtles, so by God, he goes, goes and does it himself. I mean, the fence that they put up there around the park, I think, uh, he was, uh, from what I understand, kind of solely responsible for mobilizing the laborers and everything and putting that fence in. I mean, well, that's a huge benefit for our neighborhood. M more importantly, he actually acquired it. Somebody took the fence out. They were taking out an old swimming pool. He collected it, loaded it on one of his tow trucks, and was storing it in his backyard until DeKalb County had to add some pieces and parts to put it all together. But, you know, the bulk of the new fence came out of what, what Ronnie was able to, to, to salvage from uh, somebody uh, uh, redoing the pool, pool area. I mean, how much is it and how easy is it to become a member? We have uh, uh, recently, we have a website, ashfordpark.org. Mm -hmm. On the website, there's a link to a PayPal uh, account. You can go online, sign up. It's $25 a year. And uh, with that, uh, you get a, a membership sticker. But more importantly, all the money goes back into the, in the community. We do not uh, take anything out. Uh, very lean operation. Sure. And uh, we've, you know, we've done things like last couple summers, we've sponsored the movie night in the park. We've had the three. Uh, sure nights which have gotten to be very popular uh, I think we're uh, hopefully we'll continue that again this year and and, uh, and it's even the simple things like the um, the restroom at Ashford Park the Cab County let us know that because of budget cuts they were not going to be able to clean it or possibly even keep it open on a regular basis so uh, we the Ashford Park Civic Association solicited donations was able to raise enough money that we had uh, actually a neighbor uh, go in and clean it three times a week, uh, and kept it open during the summer rather yeah. than locking it. Yeah. The sign toppers that are on all the signs in the neighborhood, which, by the way, what a great touch. I mean, makes our neighborhood look like it's period friendly, kind of turn of the century. I mean, that historic feel. I mean, did the Ashford Park Civic Association completely pay for that uh, project? We, we did. Those, that, that, again, uh, membership dues uh, uh, paid for those. We have, uh, actually one of our board members is, uh, has a sign company. Okay. She donated her, donated her time and mm -hmm. was able to uh, uh, work a deal with some of her vendors mm -hmm. to uh, get, a, look, get a little bit of a uh, price discount, but mm -hmm. we paid for those. And where we really saved the money is that uh, she, Ronnie and I, drove her on one side of the morning and installed them. <laughs> yesterday that Brewster's is closing down yes and then that Kroger is going to expand all the way over to where the post office used to be and that's going to be like a fresh a Kroger fresh market kind of like a uh, designer type grocery store is that true have seen yes have seen plans and and we've actually provided a comment but they're they're going to expand the Kroger from 50,000 to just over 80,000 square feet and, wow. and we'll take in all the shops to the right of the, the Kroger down to what used to be the, the Brookhaven Post Office. I'm sure I'm going to miss that Brewster's So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, thanks again for doing this uh, interview. It's my pleasure to uh, hang out with you. and. Uh...